you know, I was, I was just, we were just talking about in the locker room. It, it's it's games like this that that have a different type of feeling. You know, even even a better feeling than when you you know you beat a team three or four nil. It's it's these one nil, ten men. You know, just grinding. It took you know sixteen different guys today, and uh, and to see them to see everyone out there just just giving everything they had to get that win. It means a lot to the, the team, and it's a it's a feeling, and it's a mentality that has to carry on throughout the whole year. And this is against a team that they had scored five goals last week. So just want to throw a couple of figures at you. You guys conceded only one shot on target the entire night. And then after Brian Ombi was sent off for the second yellow, they were only able to attempt one more shot. Uh, you know, what do you think that just says about – the game plan, the approach overall, uh, you know, anything that comes to mind there? Yeah, I mean, I think the the big step there for me is, is you know, after the red card, only only really conceding that one attempt and and guys flying around to, to clear that danger when it came. And and for me, that's the big one. You know, I still think, you know, it's good to, to only allow one shot on target. I still I still feel that there was a, a moment there in the first half where we conceded too much and, and they were able to, to pick up some balls in good areas. And uh, then we, we gave up a few untimely set pieces that just got us on the back foot for for 10 minutes there or so and so that's something we need to clean up for sure but uh you know like I said that that last stat was the last 25 minutes that's a, that's so you know that's what it's all about and, and that's the one that you're really really proud of how do you feel like these games matter in the long run you, you guys have talked so openly about you know not just wanting to make the playoffs at the end of the season but to be able to see that path to to home field advantage in a potential final mm -hmm. is it you know, moments like this, you might look back on and say those are, are points that we earned that that really ended up mattering over the long run. Oh, 100 percent. And you'll see these games and there's going to be plenty of them, you know, in those midsummer away games that are that are tough. And, and you know, most te every team is happy to get out of there with a point. But but if you if you grind and you get those three points on the road in, in, in tough circumstances like tonight, I mean, those are the points that they, they add up at the end. And, you know, I could point to the you know five games last year where we dropped two points or dropped three points on the on the road and and it cost us in the in the long run so for for us coming to california getting six points is it was always the objective it was always the standard and, and for us to come out of here with six points is massive and just last one uh that that week where you stay in california after the game you know, how do you feel like that may have benefited you guys when you talk about tired legs and time changes and things? Did, did you feel like that played into tonight's result? Well, for sure. I think it was, it was definitely, um, you know, from an operational pers uh, perspective, it was, it was definitely the right call just because the, the travel out here, the time changes, is quite brutal. Um, so for us to be able to be in California all week, it, it alters training a little bit because you're, you're not training at home, you're not training in, in your, you know, at our at Lynn family, uh, center so you don't have the quite the same facilities and comfort but in terms of not not having that travel i think it it really helps us a lot, helps us a lot